Hello, today I'm going to show you how can you start with Cadence for the first time. Here we have the main window for Virtuzo. We press file and then new library. I'm going to make a library. Let's call it Cadence underscore learning. Then we choose attach to an existing technology library and we say apply, and we choose the name of the library, the design kit, TSMC N65, apply, okay. And then we just show, uh, close this window. And then we have to make a cell view inside this library. So we press file, a new cell view. We choose the name of the library, which we have just made, which is Cadence library. And we can write the DC, the, the cell name, maybe DC underscore analysis. And you make sure that the view is schematic. You say OK. And then the schematic window is opened. And if we want to see this library, we can come here from the main window and choose tools, library manager. And you can find Cadence Learning. Here is the, the library we've just created. And inside it, the only cell, which is DC analysis, which we have just created also. Then back to the schematic window. In order to place here the MOSFET, just press I and then browse the libraries and choose the library which has the, the transistor, which is TSMC N65. And we write here and mass. We can, there are many types and you have to choose which one you want to use, but maybe I'm going to choose the NMOS and score RF for those who are going to design RF circuits. But the same goes for any MOSFET. And then we choose symbol from here. We have it now, but from here, we have to make sure that these are the parameters that we are going to use. We have the length per finger, it's 60 nanometer, and this is the smallest length for this technology. And the total width is 32 micrometer. The total width consists of width per finger, which is to be multiplied by the number of fingers. Okay. Uh, here we can change the number of fingers. Maybe we can make it 20, and this changes the total width. Also, we can, cha we can change the number of multipliers which may, we can make it two, but this will not appear here. It will not change the total width, but actually it changes it. But this appears only while using layout and it appears in the current that is going to be uh, passing in the circuit. You can, you can test this yourself. You can make it one multiplier and then during the analysis, you can see the amount of the current passing and then you can then make it two and then you can check the current once more, you will see that it has increased because actually the total width increased, but this doesn't appear here because when changing the number of multipliers, it, does, it is not shown in the total width, but actually the total width here is now 80 micrometer, not 40, because we have two multipliers. But let's go as one. Okay, and then we can place it here. Now we're going to get the DC source. Just press I and browse. We get it from the analog glib and we write here VDC. It appears here, but choose symbol. Okay, and here it is. Here we can type the DC voltage, maybe two volts, or we can make it as a variable to be easily swept. We can call it VBIS and then hide and put it here. And we can make a copy from this DC voltage in order to put the VDD, or we can just get it by pressing I, like what we did before. But in order to show you uh, different things, we can just select it by left click and then press Q. And this appears. So we have, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I forgot we were making a copy. 
Okay, we select it and then press C. We take it with us and put it here. So in order to make a copy, you just select what you want and then press C and then another click on the object and take it with you, okay? Like an, but uh, making queue allows you to see the, the parameters. If you want to see the parameters of any, um, of any item, any icon, you just choose, select the thing and press Q. And so you can see what you want. Now we have to get the ground. So press I and then here, just try it ground. Okay. And put it, we want three grounds. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, here we have to make it VDD. Just select it by left click and then press Q and come here and write VDD. You can also write the value or you can just make it a variable. Okay. Now we have to connect. So we choose the wire from here, then from the gate to the source, from the drain to the other source, from the source to ground, and from bulk to source. Okay, then here, check and save, launch ADE, Annual Design Environment, in order to make the simulations. And then from se uh, from session, oh no, we don't have a state right now. Okay, and then we have from variables, we say copy from cell view in order to be able to force the values inside the variables. So we have VBytes and VDD. Let's make the VDD two volt. Okay, and the VBytes, we can make it maybe 600 millivolts. And then we're going to press here to choose the analysis. We choose DC analysis and press save DC operating point. That's all. Apply. Okay. Let's press here. That system run. Okay. Then from here, results. Annotate DC operating point. You can see here that all the DC operating point is seen. The VGS is uh, 582 millivolt. Uh, it's greater than V threshold. So we can say the transistor is on. VDS equal 1.9 volts and VDSAT, which is VGS minus V threshold is 168 millivolt. And so we are now sure that the, the, the transistor is working in saturation as VDS is greater than VDSAT, okay? The current, the DC current flowing is 15.67 milliampere. Okay. Uh, as I was saying before, if we tried to change, let's see it. If we try to change here, let's, I selected it by left click now and press Q and let's change the multiplier and make it two multipliers. Still, the total width is not changed, but actually it changed. But let's test this ourselves. Okay. Okay, let's save, check and save. Every time you change something, you have to check and save and then run again. Let's see the, the current if it changes. Oh, the current is 31. It's almost doubled because we made the multipliers equal to. This means that we are, we, as if we are using two of this MOSFET. It was 15 milliampere when the multiplier was one. Now it is 31 when the milliampere when the multiplier became two. So this was what I was telling you minutes ago, that the total width doesn't show us the change in multipliers, yet it is present. The actual width now is 80 micrometer. That's why the current is doubled. Okay, let's see another thing. We have, we can see other things other than these parameters, like what? We can come here and just click, left click inside the, the screen in the schematic and then 
right click annotations setup and then choose the cell and mass and score rf okay from here He's showing us that he's showing us the ID, VGS, VDS, V threshold, VD set. We can let him show another thing. Just press here and choose maybe the region. Okay, maybe R out, maybe G, VSB, maybe many things that can appear here. Okay, so maybe it's the region, apply. So the region appears here. Region two means saturation region. Okay, that's fine. We can also say see annotate. You see node voltages, so we can see that this node voltage is 0.6. We can see that this is two, and so on. Okay, uh, what else? I want to show you how can we make a sweep if we want if we are making a design. And we want to, we are not sure that we need to use V bias equals 600 millivolts. We, know, we want to know uh, a certain V bias that is corresponding to a certain VGS that we need. Uh, I know that here V bias equals VGS because it's just uh, this circuit, this simple circuit. But sometimes there are other things here, and maybe there is a resistance here or something like that. So we can put a resistance. Okay. We can just delete this, delete, and you can move this here and then press I, get a resistance, just press here, swung kilo, okay, it's here with us, like that the VGS is different from, VGS here is different from the the V bias and so run. Okay. It's a little bit, uh, it's, it's a big resistance. So let's make it smaller because the current increased so much. And it's actually it's not working because the VGS is 182 and V threshold 313. So just choose the resistance, press Q and maybe we can make it only 100 ohm. Okay, just to show you the effect of having V bias different from VGS. So now we have ID equal 3 milliampere, VGS is 288, still, still VGS is small. <coughs> let's, let's change uh, this V bias and make it one volt and then run. Uh, here VGS is greater than V threshold, so it's on. VDS is greater than VD sat, so it's in saturation. And even the region is region two, which is VD sat. Okay. Uh, and the current passing is 6.2 milliampere. milliampere. The voltage across the resistance is 0.6 volt and the power um 3.8 milliwatt okay i just want you to know how can we sweep v bias and uh, see the effect of this sweep on maybe vgs and v threshold maybe okay let's see this uh, here from tools parametric analysis and then choose add variable v bias from uh, just maybe point uh, two, two, two volt, and the total steps they may be twenty, or even ten only. Then press here. Run. So he's sweeping, making a sweep. Oh, now the result is ready, but we need to know how how to plot VGS versus V bias or V threshold versus V bias. Any parameter, not only VGS or V threshold, any parameter related to the transistor. So from here, we can just get from tools, press calculator and choose operating points. This window appears, this small window, so this one. So it's called list 
okay he's showing us many things we just choose the MOSFET transistor and then get back this window and open the list this time we see you can see all the parameters related to this transistor so maybe you can choose vgs and press ok and then open the calculator again you will see that the name of the transistor is written together with vgs just press here 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 we are he's introducing a graph where the y axis has vgs and the x axis has the v bias which is swept and we can also draw v thresholds versus v bias on the same graph if we want so get back to the ade and from here plotting mode make it append so that you can draw another graph and come back here to the calculator press operating point again you will see the same but already i think the instance no it's not selected so select it again and get the window again press list you will find v threshold okay and get back to the calculator you'll find that it is changed now it's written v threshold just press here and the other sweep and the other graph is drawn on the same window so we have this yellow one showing the change of v threshold relative to the change in v bias also the red one showing the change of vgs relative to the change of v bias to see any value we can press just v okay so we have a cursor moving can move it anywhere and you can know the values of v bias corresponding to it the the v threshold and the vgs values corresponding to this the, the this value and for example this is 1.1 volt uh, and when v bias is 1.1 volt you can see that v threshold will be 337 millivolt and vgs is 396 millivolt okay i hope this video was useful for you um i really like to know your feedback thank you so much uh bye bye